Katrina Mitchell, CEO and Chief Matchmaker of Speak, and I'm here with Scott Greenberg. And Scott, you have a saying that I just adore. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's so fresh, it's such a great take, and that is millennials aren't entitled, we are. I realize that is a total contrarian opinion because let's face it, us Gen Xers and baby booners, us old folk, we love to complain about kids these days, just as every generation has. But millennials in particular really seem to be in our crosshairs. People talk about they're not motivated, they're not loyal, and millennials are entitled. They're all entitled. As someone who has employed them for many years, I absolutely disagree. Millennials are not entitled. We are. And the reason why I say this is because we feel that just because we give them a job and pay them a salary, that we are entitled to 100% of what they have to offer. But the truth is, as with all generations, as employers, it's our job to understand what motivates them. It's our job to know where they find intrinsic value. Just giving them a paycheck, just giving them a job isn't enough. Yeah. I mean, you know, I was, you know, I always, well, older, older people always love to say, well, gosh, when I was there young, I suffered through it and I worked hard and I walked through the snow and I never complained. <laughs> we, we have such dignity in our suffering. And I think the millennials have said, you know what? I don't buy into that. It's a scam. Life is short. I'm willing to live at home with my parents. I'm willing to take an Uber instead of own my own car because for them, they want to have quality of life. So if we want to have maximum performance from them, we have to contribute to that quality. We're not entitled to the best mm. performance. So I think if we step up, we'll see how great they are and how much this generation really has to offer. I think they might be one of the greatest workforces out there. Thank you, and I love that fresh, fresh insight.